Hi, this is Michael at TV Radio 1972, and today I am reviewing the AV1 multi purpose two band radio. It's an AM FM flashlight siren radio that operates on 4D batteries. I bought this radio at a local flea market for $15. Here's a further box right here. Here's the bottom of the box here, has some pictures, and uh, here are some of the functions. Um, it has AM, FM radio, flashlight with giant 70 millimeter lens, electronic siren for emergency use, blinking light for help and warning, perfect escort for outdoor leisure activities, or for installation indoors as an auxiliary light, powered by four times 1.5 volt UM1 battery, D batteries. They're not included. The top of the box. I think this is Chinese writing here. And the back of the box is right here, more Chinese writing. And then the sides right here. It says made in China. And right now I'm going to open it. Comes in bubble wrap. It has an instruction sheet and the radio. It's yellow. And these are the instructions. Um... Uh, yeah, it's, I don't think it's going to focus properly. It's in various languages. And, uh, here's the front of the radio right here. It has a switch, it has an on-off switch that operates as a volume button as well, and it also activates the siren. It has a tuning wheel here, pretty smooth, uh, AM 530 to 1600, which means no expanded band, and FM is 88 to 108. You have a speaker right here. Let me measure that speaker. Speaker's about maybe about two inches, and the speaker grows about three, a little over three inches. There's a switch up top here, an on-off on switch. Uh, that's where you can turn on or off your light or your siren light. Has a handle here. Uh, without the batteries, it's very light to carry. Bottom of the radio here. Me and China sticker here. Is this side of the radio here. And these two areas here is where you can put your strap. Back of the radio, it's here's an antenna. Uh, it does not swerve all the way. And I'm going to measure the antenna. It is about about 16 and a half to 17 inches. And the battery door here. And here's the strap here. They can keep uh, securely inside here and then it's gonna be very hard to read inside here so uh, that is where I store the 4D batteries alright uh, the first two batteries seem to be easy to put in 
What about the other two? Yeah, this space is a little tight. A little tight, this space. Ah, got him in. Hopefully the door will shut properly. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is test the light first, so I'll turn the light on. And right now it's on siren, so that's the beacon light, but if I turn the volume on, that's the siren. Uh, it's pretty loud, so I don't want to play it too loud. And then, if I turn it back to AM and FM, which is also the off button when this is off, your flashlight is on. AM or FM, either way. So I'm going to turn the flashlight off using this switch. And I'm going to tune around the band starting with FM. Um, not bad. The FM reception is actually not bad. It'll mainly get your local stations. Uh, don't expect any semi-local or distant stations out of this radio. It's a basically built radio, but it does what it's supposed to do, and you don't need it to be a DX machine when you're in an emergency. So, FM to me, it's adequate. Adequate for locals. Now I'm going to try the AM. I'll start from the bottom. Yeah, Dow's not too accurate. This is, I believe, 66 WFAN. Yeah, WABC. Looks like it's around 900. It's actually 77. yourself in a pattern of sin, including some very 1430 WNSW Newark. That's 1480. Yeah, that's 1560. And, uh, that is it. Um, like I said, it doesn't include expanded band, but, um, Adequate for locals on the AM and 
notice when I tuned in, uh, you don't hear that uh, step tuning. It's a purely an analog radio. So, like I said, it's adequate. I'm satisfied. I like the flashlight and the SOS light. And you can always use the siren as well. But I didn't test it very much because that can get loud. So, um, and it has a good sound. So, overall, I'm satisfied with this radio. To me, it does what it's supposed to do. Nothing spectacular. But, it seems adequate to me. And it's in yellow, and I finally found a yellow radio that's pretty good for a $15 radio on flashlight. So, I'm satisfied. So, I hope you enjoyed this review. Have a good weekend, everyone, and God bless. Bye-bye.